Hey everybody, this is Walt Miner. I'm the community, Senior Director of Community for Automotive Grade Linux here at CES 2024. Right now I'm showing you our latest and greatest demo. Uh, Flutter has been very, very popular in the mobile phone space. And the last few years, Toyota has been making a significant investment in creating a Flutter embedder for automotive and uh, general, general embedded use case as well. Usually when I think of Flutter, I think of designing once, it goes to Android, iOS, Windows, Linux and stuff. Yes. But it could also go in a car. So that's what we're doing. We're, we're making that available for the car. And what happened was we engaged, we've had this up and running for about a year. Um, it continues, we continue to follow the tip of the tree on Google, uh, Flutter, a Flutter's tree. And basically we now have this brand new Flutter-based demo that we spec'd out with uh, ICS. And they basically created this demo from a clean sheet of paper. They started with Figma. They created, they, they had then had their developers write the, write the Flutter code. We worked with them to hook it up to our back end. And you can see now we've got a really uh, modern looking, fresh uh, IVI system that runs. Everything is smooth? Yes, everything is very smooth. Hardware accelerated? Yeah. With Having the, full access to the to the GPU acceleration. Yep, this is on an Arcar H3, but it'll also run on a Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry Pi 5 coming very soon. Basically, we're going to wrap all this stuff into a nice, tidy release in uh, February. That'll be our uh, 17th release, uh, Quirky Coolback. What is this Arcar? So Arcar is a Renaissance chip, specifically for automotive, and uh, Arcar H3 is their high-end chip that's been out for a few years third generation of that of that family. All right. Here's a nice uh, little animation that our designers also made with the AGL logo. So the idea is now this particular demo. Yeah, well, you can you can back out and see it again. Oh, nice. So this demo here We've also got a uh, instrument cluster running Flutter, and these two, these two uh, demos are running on virtual machines on, in, using KVM, running on a single processor in the in the in the Arcar H3. Now we have another demo over there where we can show these running on containers as well. So you have your choice with a, with AGL. Basically, we're leaning into the software defined software defined vehicle of the future, giving you those things like containers and hypervisor and VM support. So you can now move, you know, create your high, compu high, high performance compute platform and move your functionality where you want it, when you want to move it. Nice, I see a real car behind you. It's in, deployed in so there's, that's a, cars? Yeah, that's a Lexus uh, TX500H, I believe. And Toyota has been deploying automotive grade Linux into their vehicles for a few years now. So millions of cars have this stuff. Yes, absolutely. Toyota, Subaru, uh, some Daimler trucks, and as we as we walk the show floor here at CES, we've seen AGL demos in a number of of, of other booths as besides our own. And uh, there's lots of Linux and cars yep. for many many years, for decades, let's say. But what's the main difference now? Yeah, so AGL is a collaborative project in the, under the Linux Foundation umbrella. We have 150 member companies. We have 10 automakers supporting us all of their tier one suppliers like Denso, Panasonic, Continental, Bosch, um, and then you know Toyota, Mazda, Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, SAIC, they're all members of, of AGL and basically building this op completely open source platform. Can I just quickly walk around there? Yeah. And, uh, just looking over here. Yeah, just a quick Here, let me, let me just give you a quick overview. So this is basically a very similar demo. This is the, this is the Renaissance Arcar 3 reference hardware that we built at AGL a few years ago. And it's, it's very modular. We can swap in different modules. We've, over the years, we've swapped in different processors, different uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi chipsets. Again, here's a different version of our instrument cluster. And the cool thing here is we have this little keypad. As we look at the IVI system, it's running, this is again, running our new Flutter demo, but we have the ability to hit a button, 
These are containers now instead of virtual machines. And right now what's happening is the instrument cluster is still running and we're tearing down the IVI container and putting up a different, completely different IVI uh, user interface. This is actually our older Qt based demo that we had for many years. So you can see, we were, again, we're enabling that software defined vehicle of the future so that you can put on the car what you want, where you want it, and how you want to do it. So you, uh, you went out of the flutter into the Qt. This was this, one button. One button, yeah. One button. So we can also we also have a, an H, an H, a web app version with you can run JavaScript and using Chromium embedded framework. When our latest release will be up to the latest, basically cl very close to the tip of the tree on Chromium as well. So we'll be at version one eighteen on Chromium. Um, Would you say there's been amazing advancements in the last few years in the Flutter stuff? Oh, absolutely. We didn't have any Flutter two years ago. Um, the Flutter itself, our, our guy at Toyota who's been working on this stuff, he's been doing a lot, making a lot of advancements in uh, the um, compositor and the uh, uh, renderer, especially with Impeller. Uh, so what you'll see as we move into 2024, mid-2024, you'll see even better, uh, more advanced rendering engines for uh, Flutter. And when all these uh, chipsets support the, uh, this kind of platform, they will all be super optimized for the Flutter. Features. Absolutely, absolutely. There's, there's, we're we're finding that for, for the um, for, for our particular Flutter implementation, it, it's very performant even on a Raspberry Pi four with four gigabytes. All right, and there's a, you, you mentioned the car, but it's a big booth. So this is the whole booth. This is the whole booth. We've we had a number of other AGL member companies here that are showing demos. Yeah. Uh, VNC Automotive, Egalia, EPAM, Panasonic. That's another AGL demo showing some camera. Yeah. With, um, same board your, again. Your board there. The same Renaissance R car board. Also um, So here, here's the probably the most interesting thing. The settings app is very much a um, a stub at this point. We haven't implemented a lot of the settings. Okay. We don't have Bluetooth hooked up yet, for example. Um, but one of the things we did in this one is we added a camera app. Nice. Peekaboo, you can see yourself. Cool. All right. So it's been a good uh, CES 2024 for you? Yeah, it's been excellent. What's happening here? So this is our, our, these are our uh, Flutter experts. Uh, they're, showing some, uh, they're showing some previews of what we're going to be seeing coming in Flutter next year in 2024. So in Flutter, you can just navigate a uh, virtual world. <laughs> He's actually, Joel has a game uh, uh, it's called Super Dash that we, you can play. Yeah. That's also an option. Uh, just show him the, the, the Super Dash game. You just need to find the play button. I just knew up there, right there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is uh, like Angry Birds on the trip. Yeah. Doing the, it's a uh, merger between Angry Birds and Super Mario, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's yeah, right. Good, uh, Angry. Did you design this game? Very good ventures. You do uh, Flutter development. Oh wow, cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, so people are playing a lot of this on the on the Androids and the <laughs> iPhones. It's just a proof of concept. A proof of concept. Yeah. So we do nice. A lot of and when we were coming just before. There was like a virtual world and everything. Was that in the Flutter? Uh, that is Flutter too, yeah. Um, that is uh, showcasing mic. Yeah. Google Filament. I'm just hold it like this. Yeah. Yeah. Google Filament. So this is showcasing uh, a physicality-based render, a real-time rendering engine. Yeah. Real-time rendering engine. Yeah. Lots of 3D stuff. Yeah, 3D. You can see in the upper right it says debug. That's the flutter. Ooh. And then. It's the proof. Yeah, it's a work in progress right now. So, uh, what do you guys think about the flutter uh, recently? How's it going with the flutter? Flutter is going great. It's yeah. great. Yeah, it's going excellent. Yeah. The the community is exciting. The community is exciting. It's it's starting to uh, evolve. Yeah. yeah, and get bigger and more companies are getting involved in embedded Flutter. 
So on ARM, uh, all kinds of ARM CPUs, boards and everything? ARM, so Renaissance, TI, Raspberry Pi, Qualcomm, you name it. NXP, all of the above. And all of them have super high, uh, what's called acceleration and great performance. It's, it's kind of like the point, right? You want to get full performance and just write a little code and it should be full performance, kind of? Sort of, kind of, yeah. So uh, whether it's a GPU, whether it's 32-bit or whether it's 64-bit, um, doesn't matter. Uh, the, the key with Flutter is it's a, we're targeting a commodity development pool, right? It's easier to get a Flutter developers than standard C++ developers. Because there's like so much enthusiasm on the Android iOS uh, multi-coding stuff yeah. that you can just find so many developers out there, you can just call them and say, hey, help me with my car. That's right. And they'll do it. That's right. Cool. That's awesome. Uh -huh. okay. Thanks a lot. You bet. Thanks. All right. I think that's about it for the booth. We'll wrap yeah. it up here. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right. Thank you. Thank you.